Now, why do we even make CTs? Well, because we want to differentiate between structures in order to find pathology or exclude pathology. And more specifically, we discriminate between structures in terms of their density, the extent to which they absorb x-rays. And the more dense a structure is, the wider it appears on a CT. And the less dense a structure is, the darker it appears on a CT. Now, what Hounsfield units do is nothing more than give a number to the density, quantifying density. Now, an HU value of zero, that's water. Minus a thousand, that's air. Plus a thousand, that's very dense bone. You don't have to believe my word for it. The computer can help us. Region of interest. Here's the gallbladder. And we'll just put the ROI in there. And here you see the Hounsfield unit value. And as I said, water is zero. And you can see that the value of the fluid in the gallbladder, it's near zero. Going to air, we see that the Hounsfield unit value is minus a thousand. So that's air. And going here, we see between the right and left liver lobes, we see this structure. What's its HU value? Minus 100, which is the same value as subcutaneous fat. So minus 100, that's fat. And this is the falciform ligament. It's fatty. Um, this is a patient who has received contrast, iodinated contrast. You can see that because the portal vein here, so this is a portal venous scan, is white. The patient has also received oral contrast. So the stomach, it also contains iodinated contrast. And this contrast material has a Hounsfield unit value of, of over 150. Now, one thing you may notice is that here we said this is the falciform ligament. It's fatty, has an HU value of minus 100, air minus 1,000. So that's a factor 10 difference. But look at the visual difference between these two structures. There's barely any visual difference. Now, why is that? It's the, because the computer has done something to our image. What it's done is it said, all right, I want you to focus on soft tissues now. I want you to focus on stuff with an HU value between minus 100 and plus 200. And so what I'll do is minus 100, I'll make that black. Plus 200, I'll make that white. And anything above and below those values, it's all white or black. What that means is your shades of gray are going to be much more differentiated in the soft tissue window. And that's what windowing is. It's the computer saying, this is the lower limit of black. This is the upper limit of white. Or actually, I should say that the other way around. This is the lower limit of white. This is the upper limit of black. And that's nice that the computer does that because it helps us assess pathology in the abdomen, for instance. But when we go to the lungs, we see that in soft tissue window, the lungs are just one big black gaping hole. We don't discriminate anything here. Now, what we can do is we can tell the computer, all right, I want you to expand our range of HU value. In my case, it means I press the number seven on my keyboard and then we're going to look at everything uh, lower than minus 1,000, that's going to be black, and anything higher than plus 1,000, that's going to be white. And what this does, it, it gives us a nice view of the lung parenchyma, where here, this grayish stuff, that's the air, white are vessels, and here we see bronchioles. So that's lung window. Now going back to the abdomen and lung window, we see that our discriminatory capacity in lung window for the abdominal structures is a lot less. And this is because we're looking at a very large window of HU values. And so our shades of gray are more widely distributed. Going back to soft tissue window, we see, all right, this was our gallbladder. This is our liver parenchyma, portal veins, spleen, stomach. So that's a lot better. That's not to say that lung window is not valuable for the abdomen because if you want to look for free gas in the abdomen, lung window is actually 
pretty valuable because the blackness of the air will pop out a lot more. So you can actually play around with windowing. If you understand this concept of windowing and Hounsfield units values, that's a very nice basis for understanding CT. So in summary, a window is the computer saying, I will limit myself to this range of HU values. Anything below, for example, minus 100, I'll make that black. And anything above plus 200, I'll make that white. So you can focus on the soft tissues. That's soft tissue window and lung window, or for instance, bone window. This is bone window. It has a lot wider of a range.